<laughs> Breast implants on babies, yeah, would not be sexy. We're just going to have to agree to disagree. Are we live, man? Yeah. Episode number 18 of the Martin Michael Fully Actual Podcast. And wow. Wow, this is going to be a great episode. I'll tell you why. Why? Oh, this just broke. Fuck off, you bro. Oh. How do you break them? Dude, what are you fucking talking Every about? Time. I'm just touching it. Oh. If touching it is breaking it. How are we need new equipment. Man, we're getting you a new chair in two episodes. This can't happen. Oh, look, I'm breaking it, Matt. Oh, I'm breaking it. Don't yell at me. You're the one who broke it. All right. Uh, and we're back. Sorry about that. Um, anyway, a fucking jam-packed episode. My guts are, gr- are a grumbling. Oh, yeah. So I think that there's going to be some um, some some fart art today. Um, our partners are here, Monique and Amber. So uh, they've promised me, but they'll, they'll fucking look away when I'm doing my thing. That was the only thing. Cause <laughs> can you imagine? Yeah, well, well, why are you so afraid if they see? Because it's like that. that she, Mon will never be attracted to me ever again. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's fart art. It's a beautiful thing. That is so true. <laughs> and I will spoil you boys today. Yes. <laughs> it's been a long, it's been like at least, I reckon, like 30 episodes since you farted. Yeah, I know. It's ridiculous, it's been man. It's a long time. We got prank call. We're going to try the billboard guy again. But if he doesn't answer, we've um, we got a plan B. We're going to, this random note was at Michael's house today. Um, so we're going to call it. It's from the RSPCA and it just got a number on it. And so I'll prank call that. Worst case scenario. What else we got on? We got, we're going to try the screaming segment where we just call call someone and scream until they hang up do you reckon we should do Lockie I, we, we use Lockie and Greg for literally every <laughs> poor thing there is we need to expand our mind Lockie for the lie maybe we just yell at scream at Julian because he'd hang up I reckon we call Lockie and we scream at him and then we call him back and lie to him and say that we didn't scream to him I reckon we call Domino's and scream at him Okay, yeah. Well, we can uh, do both, maybe. It doesn't have to be someone we know. Anything. I'm down for anything. And uh, what else? Uh, is that? Is there anything else new that's happening? Yeah, that's You guys everything. went to... Oh, oh yeah. Sydney. On to shit talk and fucking hell. We had a bit of a fucking wild one, didn't we? Mm. Eh? Don't even remember what the movie's about. Yeah. <laughs> Fully just don't know what it's about. <laughs> Did you watch it? Yeah, we were sitting there. Look, <laughs> we were <laughs> looking at the pieces. screen, but for fucking no shit. I reckon at least 50 minutes of the movie because the cast and crew is directly in the row behind us. Michael and I were greedy little pigs and we wanted to be right up at the front and the whole cast and crew is behind us. So, And like fucking half an hour into the movie, we've had a fair few drinks and I start hiccuping so loudly and it's so hard trying to muffle it. And it's, it's like the longest fucking hiccups I've ever had. And then as soon as I'm done, Michael starts hiccuping. <laughs> but Michael just doesn't give a shit how loud his hiccups are. So he's sitting there, mouth open. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking loudly. And man, we had a fucking wild night. We oh. went to this red carpet event oh my to gosh. promote this movie called Spiderhead with Chris Hemsworth in it. <laughs> We're told he'd be there. And we thought red carpet event meant red carpet. Like a you, black tie event. Do you wear a black tie? Do you know what that means, Matt? Doesn't that mean you wear um, like a... It's like suit. It does, it's not necessarily a black tie. It's like... Suit. What about a 70s party, Matt? You go dress as 70s? Yeah. Yeah. So red carpet event, we think red carpet. So we wore red carpet to the event. It was so funny. Did you meet Chris Hemsworth? Like you wanted no, to? No, it's so annoying. I if, told you. If there was, if there was a there. spare second where we could have spoken to him, I would have been there. I was just, but he's, yeah, look, Bozzy's going to bed now. Everyone shut up. Oh. Look away. <laughs> yeah. Look away from Yes. Me. Back up. I don't know. Oh, you look, you look it's so right. hard with them there. You look right at Monique in, in fear. Monique wasn't looking. <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> There's so much pressure on my there cheeks. Was, there was a little fleck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fleck. It started. I feel something swell, and I'm getting a lot of false positive readings now. <laughs> I don't know when it's ready and when it's not. <laughs> well, like okay, I just it, gotta relax. I just gotta relax. It could come back, right? 
Yeah. All right. You're on yeah, the record. Fucking better come back. I've been holding this shit in for an hour. <laughs> he never holds him, but I made him hold him today. So you're on the red carpet. We're on the red carpet. Chris Hemsworth isn't there. Lied to. He came to talk about, have a quick interview before the movie. And then he fucked off out of there and we didn't get, even get a chance. There were some other TikTokers and shit there. We met you. some Netflix people. We did some crazy. Look away! Look <laughs> away right now! Oh, please be gentle with me! I can't. I would have shut then. I would have fucking shut. And that's your fault, Monique! <laughs> Fuck. Oh, 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 oh. But anyway, it was a wild night. We we had a lot to drink. Michael fucking smuggled drugs. Oh, don't say it like that. <laughs> it was a hurt. Look Sorry, away! Guy. Oh, everyone, look away! It's gonna be. Okay, it's all right. Just getting the cobwebs out. <laughs> It's getting the cobs where it's, it's going to be fine, okay? Marty's here Clear to party. Clear the path. Marty's Clear the path. Marty's here to party tonight. Oh, 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 oh. oh so many interruptions. But yeah, it was oh, I'm scared. Anyway. I'm so scared. Sorry. They look, they're confused. They don't know how it happens. <laughs> anyway, so Michael smuggles marijuana in his uh, pants. Oregano. Into the movie. Okay, it was Oregano over to Sydney, right? Oh, into and Sydney. And then after we finished the red carpet event, we tossed our rags to the side and we went home and we had a big old joint. And that's when, look away from me! <laughs> Oi. Nothing else matters. Oh, no. Dude, I feel See, like... See, this is what fucking happens when I fucking hold it in, man. Something goes wrong. <laughs> it's all like clogged up and... Gapped. <laughs> so gapped. But there's so much of it, but there's large gaps in between. In my gut. <laughs> Matt. Oh, and anyway, oh. we went back to the room and smoked a fucking fat one. Fat greened one. out. And Michael fully greened out. And I don't know if you saw our stories, but man, it was fucking fucking. Holy he shit. He was vomiting hot chips. Just had like a whole <laughs> large chips mat. And then I had to vomit that up. It was like warm potato paste. <laughs> and it was just so much of it. And it had to come up in clumps because it was like just so pasty. Oh. And then, so the dry. Whole, and then the whole next morning, oh my God, what a fuck around. We what wake happened? up early, wanting to get home early. Oh, no. Right? Then we fucking, we're, what are we waiting for the Uber? Aren't yeah, we? And we're Mount about Michael, to get in the taxi. Michael looks at his phone. Oh, Jetstar message yesterday. Our <laughs> flight's cancelled. <laughs> yesterday. Yeah. We thought it was like a confirmation text thing. Did you know, you get heaps of them before the flight. You didn't they read it. They sent it like at like five o'clock when we got to like the event. So yeah. So it was already too late. We, like already, we got interviewed by Channel 10 too. And I'm pretty sure that, um, what's her name again? Tracy Bishop? Tracy Bishops. Tracy Grimshaw? <laughs> no, no, um, Channel 10. A yeah. Angie Bishop. Angie I don't Bishop. know anybody from the Anyway, news. she interviewed us and um, she was like, oh, what type of content do you do? And Michael told her about the corn recycling video that we've done. So yeah. I haven't seen that on Channel 10 yet and I highly doubt that they will put that on. But yeah, there's some crazy videos on our website. Oh. Oh, yeah, we vlogged it. So that's yeah, probably going to be out. <laughs> Not now, uh, but soon. I don't want to... Look away! Oh, yes! Oh, just to be safe. Yes! Oh, it is broken. I don't know what's going on, man. <laughs> I won't make you hold it anymore. <sighs> I'm oh. sorry for making you hold it. That is now fucked. I feel all fucking gap gut. <laughs> oh, yeah. anyway, yeah, we vlogged the whole fucking thing, and that'll be out on the website soon. All right. So if you want to see our wild night being red carpet at a red carpet event, <sighs> sign up, Matt. Sorry. Um, Hang on, we're not there yet. Yeah, we aren't there yet, man. <laughs> we just spent. 20 minutes trying to tell one story with like 15 attempts at farts. What happened? And then, right, we wake up, we get to the airport and we're like, oh, we got to buy the fucking next available. It's not till midday. And it costs a lot of money if you if you don't, you know, book flights Wait, in so advance. so they didn't give you another flight. They just canceled No, they're all it. full. Yeah, Jetstar. Yeah, Jetstar. 
like, f- what? J- just go bust already, Jetstar. Who the fuck flies Jetstar anymore? Such a piece of shit airline. Wait, so they just, I booked it, but yeah. Wait, so yeah. they just cancelled your flight and then they're like, and cancel all the other ones. Did they Let's say, know. how were you meant to get home? Were they just book another one? Okay, let me just interrupt you. Apparently, there, there was a power outage. Michael, the microphone. Now, look away. Amber! Oh, man. I think you need to hold out just a little <laughs> bit. He's fucking man. So what do you mean hold out, man? Because I've been holding out know, all. No, no, hour. no. You know, you know, you know. Get with me. You're, you're you're trying to get him out a little bit. I think something's broken. If you hold off, it feels off. like a large amount of air in me. Yeah. Hold, <laughs> hold off. Hold. I reckon just go as hard as you can and as fast as you can. I don't want to shit here, man. Well, don't shit, but like try and get it out faster so it's a louder sound i am going as hard as i can okay sorry but you do have to sort of doing space my it. best okay. this is gonna suck sorry. for anyone watching this doing for the well. first time yeah yeah people are people look it's it, he just used me. to be it's good at it. it it's worth it if i can get one and again the i can feel something good. happening i can feel something happening just hold off wait for the next feeling just see if it builds up <sighs> this is exactly what got me in this mess just wait Anyway, we booked a flight for midday. Jetstar's fucked. And then I realized we're checking. We're like, oh, we'll just go check in and sleep on the floor somewhere. As we're checking in, I'm looking, oh, I've left my watch, my ring, and um, something else at the at the place where we stayed. So it's worked out all right. So I was like, oh, let's just Uber it back. And checkout's not till 10 from our place. So then we can have a sleep for another hour. Yeah, we had another nap. So we get there, we get into the room, and my ring and watch isn't there. And I'm like, oh, fuck, it's in my bag. So we didn't even need to go back to the room. We sleep for an hour, we go back to the airport, and we fly home. As soon as I get home, there's a fucking possum in my bedroom. And are you right, man? Um, it was fucked. Anyway, we, it was I, a fucked day. And yeah, oh my we God. Fucking hung over as fuck. Be and careful, everyone. Michael's vomiting all the next day. We had to get out of the cab. <laughs> Just a word can trigger you to vomit. Did you I was, know that, Matt? I was watching a story or something and someone mentioned vodka and he's like, turn it off, turn it off. I, like, I was just like, so it's like I kept like pausing it and mouth. unpausing it, pausing and unpausing. Cab driver can and pull over now, pull over now. He's like, $200 fine. And I was like, oh shit. And then I just went out into the, ooh. So wasted. I was wasted. just checking. Did you hear that? Was a, that? I could have dragged that out for at least three seconds. Well, next time you attack the mic. See? Just can't win. Wasted. Just can't anyway, win. words can trigger you to vomit. That's for sure. So, hey. and so though you got home, the possum's in the house. Yeah, possum's in the house. I call the fucking possum cunt. And the, cause the possum must've crawled in the night before because I wasn't at home and neither was Mon. It was just Bosley there. It must have gotten in somehow. And fucking hell, there was just a possum on the curtain rail. Maybe that's what And then what I kept the- trying to broom it out the window, but it was just too scared of me. And and then I called the possum guy and he said, just wait till nighttime and it'll leave. So I just opened the window and then sure enough, at nighttime, I fucked off, thank God, and left a huge pile of possum shit in our bedroom. <laughs> yeah, it's all Really? That. Have you yes. cleaned it? Yes. Immediately I cleaned it, Michael. <laughs> I did not wait. <laughs> oh what, wow. Um, what about do you think Bosley and the possum had a bit of a bit Yeah, of a Bosley wasn't happy with its presence there. He kept like jumping up and making real weird sounds. He wasn't happy that it was there. Do you reckon they had a bit of a battle when it was just them two? No, if Bosley saw it, he would he would have charged right. it and tried to tear it into pieces. Wow. What's wrong? What's wrong? Sorry. All right. And that's the shit talk. What happened to you on the fucking weekend? Huh? The fuck were you doing? Hunting, stalking, waiting, lurking, feeling, swelling, tossing, coming. <laughs> wow, that was a lot of ings. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I just spent the whole weekend uh, sending messages to Isla with no reply. Oh, 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 have you been trying to talk to her? No, no. Yes, you have. Yes, you have. Let's start a rumor. Let's start rumors. (laughs) Everyone message Isla O'Doherty and tell her that Matt's been messaging her and she hasn't been replying. All right. Ringworm, the fully actual army, go to Isla O'Doherty's Instagram. No, don't do so. No, no, no. Matt's really really annoyed at you because you didn't reply to his messages and he's been thinking about you. Swarm her inbox. Swarm her inbox. What else happened, Matt? <laughs> fucking nothing. <laughs> I can't oh, wait. I did we'll let you know what she says to remember. us. 
Yeah. I hung out with James. He watched some UFC. Oh, yeah. And you went Ooh. cactus hunting. No. Oh, no, no, I didn't do that. No, I didn't do that. You just chilled at home and played um, Command and Conquer. <laughs> that was a good game. Holy shit. How did you think of that? Yeah, I really oh. enjoyed that game. Yeah. I, like I never played guys. it, but it was like Age of Empires, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was it was a great game. And yeah. to be honest, they should really think about remaking it. Mm, they have. So I think they did. Yeah, they no, did. they didn't. Yep. What does it mean? <laughs> Matt, just be careful of your toilet, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Only two more episodes, oh, everyone, and Mr. Brown gets a new fucking chair. And he's going to look so spectacular in his oh, chair. It's good. Can oh. we give it to him today? Oh, I really want to, eh? But I feel like we got a lot of good shit this episode. Did we? Because we had two least... great stories from the weekend, and you just spent, you just fucked them with just fart interruptions at DB. Uh, yeah. yeah, sorry about You've that. You ruined the start of the podcast. Oh, that's okay. There's hope. Now yeah. they know to stick around because there's going to be better ones. I really hope that there's better ones. There will be. I really just hope. Just do what you did down there before. But up, up here. There, yeah. Maybe I've just forgotten how to do it. It'd be no. perfect if they were there, but they're not. They so will be. Come. I can feel it, man. They're there. Maybe we just cut all of them. Anyway, oh, keep uh, that's shit Sorry, talk for the weekend, all right? And let me fucking tell you about our sponsors, cunt. Are you a depressed, lonely bag of shit sitting at home with no one to look at but yourself and porn? Well, fucking listen here, dickhead. Go to manscaped.com, you fucking wanker, and buy their fucking shit, cunt, all right? Manscaped.com, they have the best male grooming products that anyone has ever seen in the fucking world. And that is a true fact. There is a survey done. <laughs> it's real. A survey done and Manscaped has the best products in the world. Do you understand? <laughs> Go to manscaped.com, right? Buy a bunch of their shit. Use our discount code FULLYACTUAL20 for 20% off. And then groom yourself so that you aren't a lonely pig sitting at home watching porn. Okay? Manscaped.com, fully actual 20 We use their shit. Michael? You, I so used it on the you. weekend. Hey? I actually used it on the weekend. Did you so have sex you. on the weekend? No. Did you, did you have sex on the weekend? <laughs> no. You did have sex I on the weekend. You didn't have sex on the weekend. Oh my God. He did have sex on the weekend. How would you two know? <laughs> I didn't say shit. You, who did you have sex with, Matt? No Brown? one. Who did you have? Oh. She's dead. Two girls or a two year old? Two girls or a two year old? Two girls? What the fuck are you going about? Holy shit, Matt Brown. We have a good Brown installed See, for today. Ma Matt doesn't You're even gonna tell love us her. anymore. Matt doesn't even tell us anymore because the podcast has overtaken our You're friendship. You're ruining my love life. Why would I tell you anything and I didn't have sex? Last weekend. When's the last time you got a, you got a big batch of mints off in something? I'm now I'm definitely not saying anything. <laughs> Has that fucking cum bucket coming along, cum? Yeah, huh? holy shit. Have you been adding to it? I'm not, I told you, Michael. I'm not going to tell you anything. Anyway, manscaped.com. Go and check them out. Look away! Oh. Look away! That's improvement. That's an improvement. Uh, getting yeah. better. Yeah. Getting better. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel like we have so many new fans who haven't heard a proper one yet. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's, that's what I was, They'll stick around to see yeah. it improve. That's what improving. I was thinking. Like new people will be like, what the fuck are they doing? And that is it. And our other sponsor, the University of Markle, where we post weekly fucked up videos that are too messed up for social media. The University of Markle.com. The, it's the best content. You won't see this type of content anywhere. It's like a mix of like scat porn, jackass, and just fucking sketch comedy. It's a fucking weird mix. And look, well, you just don't take my word for it. Click the link at 21 day free trial. You can have a look through the videos. If you're not laughing enough to stay around and pay for it, then you can leave free of charge. Free? And they, yeah, free to leave. Mm. It, before the 21 day free trial ends, Matt. Oh, they keep telling me not to say that to people because people are get, getting on and binge watching everything and then I'm subscribing and we're left with the data bill. So they keep saying, you are sinking this business, Marty. Please stop telling people to do that. But I cannot stop. Yeah, he's done it a few times now. Should I sign up? What do no, you mean? You don't, you don't even late. do it for free. No, you know what? I don't want you to sign up. All right, fuck off. I'm going to block you from and ever maybe, seeing that content. Maybe don't sign up everyone. 
Yeah, maybe if you don't feel like it, then don't. <laughs> don't even sign up. Ha- um, speaking of, of doing oh. things, we're currently running a comment competition. All right, now listen to this. This is crazy. Last week's podcast broke the comment record, mm. by the way. We're already at 1.1K comments after like 24 hours. That's unheard of. That's our biggest. That's unheard of. Yeah. That's unheard of. Big. And we're running a competition, okay? We're going to pick one random comment from all episodes this season, and we're going to give that person $1,000 on the season finale. Isn't that outstanding? So the more you comment, the more chances you have of winning. And you don't even need to comment things like, like there doesn't need to be a good comment. Just comment a fucking full stop. Because it would be funny to see a thousand dollars go to some part <laughs> yeah. who's just going to a full stop. Yeah, like a thousand yeah. dollars. So just the more you comment, the more chances you have of winning. So it sort of makes financial sense. <laughs> I'm not a banker, but comment. Dividends. Heaps of dividends. Yeah, the chances are just bigger. I what also, if one of your comments win? That would be quite Yeah, that would too. be the best. If one of our comments won, that would be the funniest because everyone would be like, fuck you, you cheated. But we're taking mm. that cash. <laughs> we should start getting fucking Mon and Amber to comment too. Yeah, or if, what shit. if one of Matt's replies wins? No, we can't have... No, no, no. We don't do the replies. Actual, just okay, do we don't things. count replies. You exclude I'm the sorry. actual channel. I'm so sorry. the fully yeah. actual channel. I'm sorry. Can't. But we comment on our own vids. So like if the Marty and Michael yeah. one wins, they win it. Yeah, they, but what but about what if it's one the of money. the like, timestamp po- like, comments? That could win too. Yeah, 100%. Any comment could win. That's the crazy, crazy shin. Fuck it. Five people will win $1,000. No, 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 no. no that's... Five people oh now, okay? We're upping this competition. We're trying to save for things. What are you doing? Oh, yeah. yeah. No. I just get excited. Actually, don't comment. That's five grand. Six grand. All right, we'll do it. Just, just 2,000 then. That's what we're doing. All right. Yeah, we're... Do- oh, oh, fuck yeah, it. Yeah, with now the- we got to do it. <laughs> All right, anyway, five people. Will get also, that. like and subscribe oh. if you haven't already. Man, you okay? need to sort Fuck this. Me. You need to sort this out now because now you've fucked with everyone's minds. Cut us saying five people will get. Thing. No, no, I, I reckon leave that in. Oh, but now I'll correct myself here. Okay, it's only one person that wins the one thousand dollars at random, and the one per- person from the comment of the week segment, which is coming later on, which okay? is pretty much five people. Fuck it, two five. No. no. <laughs> No, stop. No, stop. five people. We'll go with two, but that's so we'll say it's five people. All right. All that right. Sounds better. Look, all right. I'll, uh, I'll wash my hands. Five people are winning money, but really two. I'll step back. <laughs> I'll back out of this. Yeah, you've Stand just up. you've just thrown a grenade and walked away. It come, anyway. It's coming out of your pay, man. <laughs> anyway, um, that's the fucking uh, sponsors. And it's not no Nord for the next two weeks. They're back again after, though. I hope you guys downloaded Nord because they might not be. Back. <laughs> no, nah, well, yeah, no, that'll how's come your, back. How's your Nord subscription going? Oh, I've I've bought another one. Really, really, two. that's great. That's great to to see you. What? You didn't use our discount code though. Nah, nah, I forgot on the second one. All right, all right, sick. Yeah, <laughs> nah, um, I'll buy a third one. Anyway, you can have three. That's the sponsors. All right, now let's fucking move on. God damn it! Where's the phone? On this day in 1994. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. <laughs> he injected a large amount of black tar heroin and enjoyed the view one last time. Humpty's depression had won. He leant back and purposely had a great fall. His egg body smashed into hundreds of pieces and he was dead on impact. All the king's horses and all the king's men witnessed the incident. The king told his men to hose the cunt off the floor. Then he told his men to tell everyone that it was an accident. The king continued telling the royal doctors to prescribe heroin to every patient they saw and that it was healthy. King Pfizer knew very well that heroin was dangerously addictive, but wanted to ensure that the people were dependent on his medicine so that they would keep giving the king their money. (laughs) Fuck, that sounds so relative. Oh, it's very good. Yeah, well done, Matt. That's some great top-notch research. That's every time you hear that fucking Humpty Dumpty song, you stop, you stop whoever's singing it and tell them that they're wrong and that it was actually King Pfizer. He spread rumors, and that is not what happened to Humpty at all. He didn't. Humpty Dumpty himself. committed suicide after a severe heroin addiction. Oh, so he did kill himself. Yes. Okay. He did kill himself. One last hit, and then he rocked back. Okay. That wouldn't be a bad way to do it, to be honest. But it's because of the king. Yeah, well, the king prescribes heroin. He was driven to kill himself. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. Do you understand? Yeah. Yeah. 
It sounds very similar. Flele Lila Klululua. All right, let's communicating. Um, let's um, let's have a quick fucking bong fucking break, mm-hmm. and then we'll get onto Michael's Bible and the darkest, most disgusting segment. <sighs> Oh, I'm shaking. What Matt's black on? book. Matt's black fucking book. Fuck! Bum break! Oh, no. <laughs> Look at you. And we're back. And we're back. Oh my god! I tried to come back with a with a bang. Wait. Oh man, it's like it's like it's so deceptive today. It's so weird because every time you have held them, problems arise. My guts are just d- lying to me now, Brown. So you Where are your head masks? Hmm? Where is your head mask? Hmm. Michael's Bible. This is a s- Michael is. Fancies himself a god, a god among men. And he has started writing his own Bible of lessons and teachings and wisdom. (laughs) And he's going to read an excerpt out of his his own Bible. Michael is Bezos. He's not Jesus, he's Bezos. You understand, man? Just soak it in, okay? This won't work unless you just truly listen to the words. (sighs) Chapter 600, three score and six. (laughs) Stay docile, stay dumb. It will only make the browning more fun. UBI and IBU prepare before. Sorry? (laughs) (laughs) Brown's change is due. Have another stab at trying to feel good. One more can't hurt. A brown boost could. Data can become data and Brown had it matter. So love what you have. I love Amber. (laughs) Anyway. Did you you really write that last bit? Yeah, he did. He did. He he spelled Amber wrong. That was a huge wrote Ember. (laughs) Yeah, because it rhymes with it more. (laughs) Anyway. Sorry about that. (sighs) Oh no. It's time, everyone. Yes. Ah, oh, God, I'm I'm close to panicking. Okay, it's time for Matt's black book, everyone. Are you okay, dude? No, just just give me some air right now. <laughs> oh fuck! In this black book right here, Matt has detailed every single encounter that he has had sexually in his entire fucking life. And I'm about to read one out. Okay. <sighs> It's okay. Everything's going to be okay. (laughs) Hey, Matt. (laughs) Everything's going to be totally fine. (laughs) What happened last week again? Oh, the epileptic girl. Ah, yes. So we continue the story. Uh, Matt Brown's gotten out of jail and he um, uh, had uh, a very sick person last week and he feels as though he is his power is returning so uh, yeah <sighs> Matt Brown's black book <laughs> shake it off shake it off now I'll push you against the fence huh? <laughs> have number 55 It was a crisp winter's night. I bit into the cane toad in my hand and felt its poison splash up onto the roof of my mouth. I chewed slowly, savouring the tangy flesh, and watched the life leave its body. Once I finished my snack, I pulled my balaclava down over my face and checked my watch. It was go time. I pulled my bag over my shoulders and started scaling the fence in front of me like a gecko on meth. I grabbed the barbed wire at the top of the fence and slung my body over. I was in. I saw my target. I dropped to all fours and started running exactly how a rat runs, sticking close to the walls and stopping occasionally to sniff the air for predators. I reached my target and read the sign, Biohazard, above the bin. 
The padlock on the bin was strong, but it was no match for my mints. I unzipped my bag and pulled out a small jar of mints. Then I poured some directly on the padlock and watched it eat through the seal in seconds. I opened the bin and looked inside. There were many plastic bags with human remains in them. I picked one out at random. It looked like some sort of damaged human organ. Useless. I tossed it aside. I picked up another bag. This time it looked like a miscarried baby. Interesting, but not what I was after. I slung that out of the bin as well. I picked up a third bag. It was a severed breast. A breast riddled with cancer. Jackpot. I eagerly stuffed the sick tit in my bag. It was all I needed. I closed the biohazard bin turned and sprinted full pelt backwards towards the fence. While at full pace, I leapt and cleared the hospital fence. I landed and looked around. I had not been seen. I removed my balaclava and stuffed it under my foreskin. Then I bounded backwards all the way home, reaching speeds of up to 160 to 190 kilometers per hour at times. I exploded through my front door and scuttled downstairs into my basement. I opened my hidden closet and revealed my very own creation. Requifton. <laughs> I called her. It was a human body that I'd been putting together using various discarded body parts from the hospital's surgery bins. She was made of a human torso, which was entirely covered in cancerous breasts. Hundreds of them. She also had internal organs, two different sized legs. She had a head, but it was burnt so badly it was hard to make out its features. I'd stolen it from the flames of a cremation months ago when I noticed it hadn't fully burnt. My plan was to have a female creature that I could have whenever I wanted so that I could practice having and becoming the top haver of my family again. My creature was nearly done. She just needed one more large tit. I retrieved the sick tit from my bag and using a blowtorch, I melted the tit flesh onto the last remaining gap on the torso. I started salivating and sweating. She was complete. (laughs) Now it just needed life. I placed a steel knife in Requifton's mouth and guided her into an electrical socket in the wall. Then I turned the power on. Electricity surged through my tit monster's body. She stiffened and spasm and I laughed with pure arrogance. (laughs) I flipped the switch off and took a step back. Had my experiment worked? The smoldering requiffed and lay still. Ba-boom, ba-boom, ba-boom. A heartbeat. Then bam, requiffed and sprung to life. She rolled around on the floor screaming, Ah! What am I? Everything hurts! Please kill me! <laughs> I immediately started ripping my pants down. I couldn't believe that this had worked. Requifton couldn't stand because she had no arms to get off the floor with. She just rolled around on her tit torso, <laughs> screaming in agony. <laughs> Screams of agony were my favourite, and I slopped my now naked body on top of this creature to stop it from rolling. Old milk oozed from a few of the tits as I methodically sucked on each tit, cancerous or not, I rubbed my balls on the burnt, screaming skull of Requifton and necked a tally. I was so erect that the skin around my dick was ripping open. I tur- turned Requifton over so she was facing the ground and slung my hard bloody cock deep into the guts of my decomposing fuck monster. I started pounding long, slow strokes in and out, deeper and deeper. My hands were feverishly groping and squeezing as many of the tits as I could. I almost ignored the burnt, screaming skull. Ah, I shouldn't exist! I watched all the tits shake in unison as my thumping intensified. Pleasure was starting to swirl in my ball bag. Then I stood Requifton up on its two legs and bent her over, grabbing its shoulders. I rammed my cock and balls both deep into its fuck monster's cunt. Bang, 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 bang! The tits jingled and jangled everywhere as my fucking speed tripled. Then I arched my back, let out a mighty howl, and chundered over ten litres of mold and hot mints into a Quifton. I heard her inside sizzle as I unplugged my now flaccid little brown. I was so relaxed and satisfied. Requifton was still screaming, ah, Jesus, fuck me! Ah, what even am I? Ah! I chuckled to myself and dragged her back to her cupboard and locked the door. I gave her a fresh bowl of water and some food. In an hour, I'll have her again. My training has officially begun to become the best haver the world had ever seen. So this is all because of your brother. That's why you made Requifton. If your brother never did what he did, you wouldn't 
have doing? had to make Requifton. Holy shit, I forgot what Requifton was. So Requifton's <laughs> like a Frankenstein tit torso with legs and a burnt skull. Do you understand? Picture that. And Matt's just rolling that around on the ground and fucking it until he unloaded 10 litres of mince so hot her insides sizzled. <laughs> Is that about right there, Matt? <laughs> now she's in a cupboard. Now she's back in her cupboard with a fresh bowl of water and food. Oh my God, dude. Wow, man, that is yeah. You're, you're taking some outrageous steps. That's uh, that's some amazing science, though. So you broke into hospital the bins there where they would discard human waste after surgeries, right? And then you broke in and you select the tits out and then you leg it back to your home. It proves Frankenstein's real. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's like a true story. Mm. True story, I think that one. Matt? Just as Requifton's is. This is all questions' fault. <laughs> so that's wow. exactly questions it. Questions are going to be. I knew happy it was your brother. That. That's exactly it. Anyway, um, that was uh, the black book. Oh, fucking disgusting. Yes. <laughs> Pig right. of a man. It's time for Bachelor Brown. Hang on, hang on. Bachelor hang on. Brown. Hang on, hang on. He's right behind you. Ah, ah, Matt Brown, he's right behind you. He's always, always, always standing behind you. Even if you're right up against the wall, he's right behind you. Ah! And this is a segment where we call, Michael and I have taken it into our own hands to find Matt a partner. Mm. Because Matt keeps going for these like fucking just... Like, what would you call them? Like, um, Requiftons. Yeah. Well, just things that don't suit his, what he needs. Oh, shit. That sounds mean. They're not all Requiftons. Yeah. Now, some of them have been okay. They do have tits. Yeah. Like a lot of tits. Like, that's, that'd be kind of hot to a lot of people to have that in your cupboard. I'm, I'm I'll, getting, I'll put my hand up. I'll put my hand up. Is Requifton still alive? I'll put my hand up. Well, yeah. I don't know. I'll put my hand up too. It's in the diary. Okay. Next week we find out. Maybe. I need, we need to have a chat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you, you it's not about Bachelor Brown anymore. <laughs> it's about how far can Marty and Michael fuck with Brown and his love life. Brown. No, this one, you no, love today. No, I won't. I, found I don't trust it. I spoke to her last you're night. You're excited Amber about knows. It. Look, she's beautiful. The fact Matt, that Amber knows is even Matt, telling me look, something's wrong. Matt, we, look, there were a couple of stitch-ups where we put a guy on. No, so even yeah, Ethan you got to have some fun. E, but even Ethan was okay. Yeah, so. Ethan was actually great. So other Ethan. than that, other than that, where, where has been the negative? You employed Jackson O'Doherty. Yeah, so yeah, they, yeah, apart from them, Isla How makes up. Isla does not make up. Because it's the opposite of Jackson. Isla had no intention. You conned her into doing that, look, breaking my heart no, even more. No, Matt. but it's the opposite of Jackson. So it's look, sort of- Look, this is episode number 18, okay? We've got you yeah. 17 dates. Two no, of them haven't. Two of them have been unacceptable, okay? If someone said to me, if I was a single 45-year-old man all not alone f- in my apartment, <laughs> you can have 15 dates with females? 50 that your friends have hand selected but you also have to go on two dates with two guys I would do that Matt and I would be grateful so fucking thankful that my friends had done that for me because they just want to see me happy and they're sick of seeing me walk around third wheeling everywhere looking at pathetic puppy dog eyes crying yourself to sleep most nights I'd buy them cars you should buy us a car (laughs) anyway so that's how I feel about this, all right? Now we have you a lovely young lady, a lovely young lady. Her name's Jess. Her name is Jessica. And you are going to love what she does because do you know what, man? We found out. You've even got the detrust face. No, no, we can't, we gotta let it happen naturally. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm not gonna, I'm I'm not saying nothing. for you, you'll like it. I'm not saying nothing. But you need to, you need to be, show some appreciation, young man. Open the door, open the door. Open the door of love. Cause here she is. Oh man, I was just <laughs> oh, man. Oh, so dude, hurt. that would have been so good. Oh, no. If we had a girl walking. <laughs> oh, or if we had a girl wheeling in a wheelchair. <laughs> oh, Matt hates girls in wheelchairs. You can't say that. <laughs> you, he might have said that. <laughs> look, I'm just guessing. Anyway, right. look. Um, all right, I've got a number. God, I hope this... Oh, it might not work on this phone. Remember, it's shit and weird. That's because it's overseas, so that means she's not in Australia. No, it will work. All right, let's try it. 
Uh, it said call failed immediately. I'm going to have to just put it on loudspeaker, everyone, because um, it won't call off my phone, so this is my next phone. I can't connect to the It must be Bluetooth. an overseas okay. number. Mm, that's correct. People get very frustrated. Correct. Technical issues. All right, here we go. Here we go. Get your fucking game face on, Matt. It's oh, yeah. daytime, cunt. Here we go. Come on. Confidence. Stop smooth. Stop yelling. Smooth calmness Please about you. Yelling. But confidence as well. Please stop yelling. Come on. Oh, no. Hello? Hello, am I speaking with Jess? Jess, this is Jess, you are on the greatest podcast known to mankind. You are on the Muddy and Michael fully actual podcast and sitting next to me, I have the very single and super available, very, very single Matt Brown. And Matt would love nothing more than to get to know you, Jess. Thank you so much for coming on. No worries, my life is fucking complete. You farted in my face. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, that was actually I, Matt. I, yeah, that was <laughs> actually <laughs> Matt doing that. <laughs> and yeah. You have to hold it. Oh, yeah, on. sorry. All right, all right. Um, I love it. I won't kink shame. <laughs> yeah, so um, look, I'll, I'll hand it over to you guys. Um, Matt, he's become quite the conversationalist, and he'd love to carry this okay. conversation and get to know you. Matt, go. Go, Matt. Go. Talk to her. Ask her what her name is or something. What's your name, Jess? Oh, man. Oh, my, my God. Name is oh, my Jess. God. I'm so sorry, Jess. What's sorry about name? that. Whereabouts are you from? I'm from England. But oh, I okay. used to live in New Zealand. Oh, that's pretty close. Cool. Man. You were going to England. On, was man. I? Come on, man. What are you? Yeah, man. Talk to me. Oh. Hey, dude. Hello, man. Hello. Hey, I'm so oh. sorry about this, Jess. He's got stage fright again. He's. Um, would you shy, eh? maybe yeah he really does get very shy um, would you mind maybe just asking him a few questions about his life maybe um, see uh, if uh, anything you like about him huh sure Matt what do you do when you're not working with these goons Ooh. oh just Ooh, that's romantic <laughs> that's definitely romantic <laughs> um I don't know. What do I do in my spare time? Hiss at her. Hiss at her. Um, <laughs> um, not, I don't know. Not much. I go... F I don't know. Nothing. Oh, what the fuck answer you is that? You're fucking this up so bad, man. you got to say something. You can't say nothing. Come Tell on, you, you fucking love go-karting. I love go-karting. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, um, what do you do for What do you do for a living? What do you do? What do you do for fun? Uh, I do OnlyFans. You do OnlyFans? Yep, full time. Full time? So you must be successful yep. at it. Yeah, it's going all right. It's pretty good. That's good. He's, a, he's all of a sudden, he's got a, he's that. smiling like a Cheshire oh. cat suddenly. Mm. <laughs> Very strange, Mr. Brown. Continue the conversation. Yeah, now he's having a look. Look at Mr. Brown. Come on, Matt. Come on! Ask her about it. Say, do you do OnlyFans? Ask her if she has any brothers or sisters or something. Do you have any brothers or sisters or something? <laughs> I have one brother. Oh, nice. Well, one full brother, and then my dad was a slut, so I've got like a bunch of half brothers. <laughs> I like him. He likes <laughs> Matt laughed a lot. He had a good belly laugh at that. Have you, that was good. Um, well, I, have you ever been I to a I actually slid into Matt's DMs once. Um, you slid on my into my DMs? Account, and... I was like saying like enjoy the wedding and he was so fucking pissed he was like pissed replying it was amazing really Matt well, drunk well, was he drunk just a dog a minute a bit there well, do you mean angry pissed or drunk pissed no drunk pissed Matt really? Brown. That like, is so that. People? Well actually <laughs> that's very that's kind of strange because I don't usually drink that much but when he does, he's it an was, angry You were at a wedding, I think. Oh, I must have been at a Mills wedding. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I was with the brown. <laughs> the... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> was so, I nice to you when I was drunk? Pardon? Was I, was I nice when I was drunk? Yeah, you texting? told me you missed me so fucking much. Yeah, I do. And oh. I read that every night before bed. Oh, my God. <laughs> Holy shit! This is a couple. They're a couple now. She's the one, dude. Um, Jess, would you ever consider moving to Australia for Matt Brown? In a heartbeat. Oh my oh, god! Because wow. you can work from anywhere, and Mr. Brown can do nothing exactly. anywhere. So you guys can go wherever you want. 
anything to be one of the Browns babes. Oh, one of the Browns babes. Is that what you said? Do you love yeah. her? Yeah. Oh, a brown babe. I reckon like you should try and kiss her. <laughs> Stop making me kiss. <laughs> okay. Je- hang on, Jess. Let me ask you. So, hang on. Jess, they made me do this thing where I kiss through the microphone. It is super cringe. <laughs> Would I'm you kiss it. the phone, Jess, if he kisses the mic? Do a digital right kiss. Three, two, one. Oh! oh! Yes! Yeah! He's still kissing it. He's still kissing it. Okay, stop now, Matt. It's gross. <laughs> Yuck, Matt. Oh, way too much. Uh, oh, dude. whoa. Fucking disgusting. No, don't. Don't. You'll break the microphone. That's Perfect. so gross. He's stabbing it. Deep throated it, Matt. God, too much. Too far. <laughs> end, end the conversation. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh well okay yeah. so well you know the drill now oh, Matthew Brown Matt just um, if you wouldn't mind um, just DMing Matt Brown's Instagram again uh, just so you pop up to the top again so he can continue the, um, getting to connect with you and who knows if you're in his top three at the end of the season we will fly you out all expenses paid and you can live with Matt for Amazing. three months <laughs> Awesome, I can't wait. All right, well, thank you. Thanks for having me on. No, thank you so much for coming on. We really appreciate it. Thank you, Jess. All right, that was good. Okay, see you guys. Bye. Bye. That's not bad. Are you happy? That's not bad. Happy about what? You're with someone now, pretty much. I've been with the last five you've put on. Yeah, but this one seems serious. Yeah, this is serious. (laughs) This one seems real serious. That's your third. (laughs) That's the third OnlyFans girl you guys have brought on. Really? Is it? Do I give off the vibe that I want to get on, get on only? Get on camera and have yeah. some fucks. Yeah, of course you give that vibe. Yeah. Well, she, <laughs> she's moving. She's moving to Australia. Dude, that's not bad. No, she's and, not. And oh. we we looked at we both had a look and we're like, oh, Matt's really going to like this girl. And then Michael had a quick chat to her and we made sure that she wasn't some crazy bitch. See, I feel bad because like you guys are out of control and I'm just like I'm just like. Getting, yeah, you got to, you got to, mate. If you spoke the entire time, I wouldn't say a word. So I, I'm just trying to feel the awkward. Air. You would not. You I'm, would, oh, mate. Give me a chance. No matter what I say, give me a chance. You react. Give me a chance. Well, look, I was. Re- I might react over here with Michael and and be proud. Yeah, I reckon of how that you're one. Going. We hardly said anything. We probably said like. I don't think. I don't think I made a noise. <laughs> yeah, then, did I? <laughs> you do shit. I do have a memory of texting someone at the wedding. I was like replying to people. Oh, well, there you go. But she, I don't remember her. It was though. funny that she knew that I was fighting when she answered. Yeah, that was very nice. And then um, she was okay with that. Mm. Yeah, that means well, she's got a good personality. And I mean, OnlyFans so only is her career, Matt. So, you know, mm. get in there. You could, you could like, you could get a slice of that pie. You start making <laughs> content with her, get a slice of that pie, and yeah, we'll make freedom away. We'll make a couple's OnlyFans. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, baby. That's what I'm fucking saying, baby. You guys boy. right talking between our podcasts? This is my love life and it's a joke to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Brown. Here you go, babe. Ready? Oh, please. <laughs> please you be were safe. pretty confident about it, though. Oh, wow, clearly. Yeah, she's quite coordinated for a hot, hot girl. I'm sorry, I yelled, Jessa. All right. Um, moving right along there. So that's the Bachelor Brown segment. Um, we will be picking the three Matt's three finalists at the end of the yeah, season. Yeah, we're not doing this either. If Matt three, we say this every if week. Matt can't decide no, on I'm the not three, doing it. Michael and I will take it upon ourselves and find three women. All right, and we are getting you married. Oh, mate. I've picked my three. All right, Isla Jackson and Ethan. All right, well that will make it easy Fuck for it. us. Wow, that's you know, so easy. That's easy for me. Ethan, I'll have a chat with beforehand, and the other look, two will Matt, just be look, fine. Look, why, why can't you take this a little more seriously? Because you don't take it seriously. Sorry. You want to... You lose the axe now. Ah! <laughs> you hit me with an axe! <laughs> Give me the axe. Okay, sorry about that. Look, Matt, if we think that... This is a serious Obviously, podcast. you aren't going to be with Jackson or Ethan. All right? Those were joke dates. So, no. I'm sorry. Maybe we can't it's a plan to get Isla here. Well, yeah. Well, we'll invite... Don't worry. We'll make sure Isla gets here. It, conscious or not, she'll be here. Oh. Anyway, Sorry, Isla. Oh. Don't forget to DM her, everyone. Anyway, moving fucking right along. What are we up to now? This is getting crazy, isn't it? I'm getting it's on time. edge about the video. What video? Uh, the video, the battery. Oh, what's it down to? Nothing, just keep going. 
<laughs> All right. Um, we, yeah, the laptop's running out of battery, everyone. Yeah, this is pressure. So it may, even me just talking right now, wasting time, it's so bad. Like, we could not finish them. We might not finish the podcast. So anyway, I'll, out soon. I'll continue oh, on with the podcast now. And um, we'll get through it as quickly as we can. We'll get to the end of this podcast just because now we have Shut a, up. We have an issue with time. Shut the fuck up. Problem problem you going. Many. We might not make it to the end. But anyway, I'm sure so the next segment. Screaming segment. And this is where we call a friend, a place, a business. And we just scream as loud as we can as soon as they answer. Okay, it's going to get loud in here, girls. So get ready. Now, we have to take a bet on how long they're going to last before they hang up. And let's give this a cap, all right? Let's put a roof on it. If we have to scream for over a minute straight, I'm hanging up. Mm. Agreed? Yeah. I reckon it will be 15 seconds until they hang up. I reckon that if, depending on who we call, they might like find it funny to begin with. Well, I reckon let's do dominoes and see what happens. There's like a prank call before a prank call. <clears throat> you guys get two prank calls today. It's very exciting. Because this might be shit. Or should we call a friend? That's what we we'll do. do both and we'll see what happens. But I reckon Domino's will hang up within 15 seconds. Yeah, actually. No, we're, we're changing Domino's to Justin Ryan. All right, we're calling Justin Ryan. I don't know if this number still works. Whatever. <laughs> oh. Why is the call failing every time? Have you got it on air? Oh my or? God. You know what I didn't do? What? Sims. The Sims. I didn't put the God. sim. I didn't swap Maybe the sims over. Maybe we can use Mon's phone. Yeah, That's yeah. Okay. Fucking thank God, well, you bloody birds came. This I told. Lucky I pestered you both to come. Ah! Uh, look away for a sec. It's broken. My voice. Michael, microphone. <laughs> oh! <laughs> How close are you holding that microphone? Oh, Show me with your fingers how far away. <laughs> it angled away? <laughs> angled away. There's not going on it. Thank you. Anyway, sorry about that. Did you guys watch them? <laughs> no, they didn't. They were good. <sighs> yeah, you keep an eye on them. I have been. <laughs> All right, it's going to get real loud. Get ready. <clears throat> How many seconds? That was probably 15. <laughs> that call lasted 10 seconds. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I'm right, just leave it there. Posley moved the light. Posley woke up because of the screaming. <laughs> <laughs> to come out and see what's going on, eh, darling? He's usually oh, so 10 seconds. Oh, He's I usually just... so good at navigating the equipment, and I think he was panicked. <laughs> All right, so that's not too bad, okay? 10 seconds? All right, l comment and let us know what you think of that segment. If you think that something good could potentially happen or if it's just a man screaming at the phone. <laughs> I, <laughs> I reckon it was really good, but I think we just have to start hitting friends because they're, they're yeah. going to talk back. Yeah, oh, yeah we're going to start well, Maybe people. should we just do Next Greg? Week. No, no, we'll leave it yeah. now. And we're we'll running need, out of time. We'll need some breaks <clears throat> between them. Also, guys, the Lying to Lucky segment, we've decided um, because we're having time issues, because he's away anyway, I'm pretty sure he's on a plane right In now. Dubai. That's not a lie. I'm pretty sure he's on a plane right now. Okay? So we, we, he won't answer his phone anyway, the little fuckwit. Mm. Willie. Fucking little fucker. You can't call Lying him to Lucky back next week. If you have any lies you want us to tell him, you know what to fucking do. Comment below and DM Isla and tell her Matt's not happy. All right, moving right along to the... The cow, the comment of the week. This is where... Who's picked the comment this week? We didn't pick one. I've got it. It's Ma Michael has one. picked a comment. Okay, comment oh, of the week. Yep, go the last one. Uh, let me explain what comment of the week is. So comment of the week, we are one of us picks a comment from last week's episode. We pick our best comment and we print it out and we put it on a fucking stupid little bit of paper shit here, right? And then you have a one in 39 chance of winning another thousand dollars at the end of the year. We're going to pick the best comment of the year that year that's a separate competition from the other comment competition i don't I want don't any confusion out there i don't think you did we need to have every entry from matt's brown matt brown's diary and black book put into compilations for sure 
All right, Dakota, you win. All right, well, you're going on the board. You got. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say it before? I can't remember in your words. Did you say that that was it? No, I was just reading willy nilly. I thought you did. All right, yeah. Dakota. But regardless, Dakota, you, it was a top liked comment anyway, and we liked it too. And I agree with you. Someone, we need to do that. We need to make that happen. All right, now it's time for questions, everyone. And this is where we answer your questions that you've commented on the Marty and Michael Fully Actual YouTube channel. If you want your question answered, comment your question. We answer the most liked questions first. All right, so after you've commented your question, have a scroll through and read the questions and like the ones that you want us to answer as well. Bong break! <laughs> Are we getting in my groove and rhythm back, mm. baby? Mm, that was like a jungle. Welcome mm. back, welcome unpredictable. back. Unpredictable. That was so unpredictable. Yeah, it was a good ending. The ending yeah, was my favorite. I felt a lot of positive energy then. <laughs> <laughs> nice question. All right, top question went to Dylan B. Um, we kind of answered this actually last week, but it's a little bit different. But it is a top question. Um, Michael, what do you think you'd be doing if you didn't make money off social media? <laughs> I could see, he can see. <laughs> hang on, hang on. I, I could see Martin having a normal job, but you, I can only see being homeless. I reckon I'd be just like traveling. I reckon I'd just be he'd traveling. He'd be a professional traveler. <laughs> he's basically saying he's homeless, but he'd move around. Yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> He'd walk from place to place eating a banana here and there. <laughs> yeah. Or possibly tennis coaching still. Surely you would have fucking quit. Yeah, true. You I can't thought you'd be do that no, for the rest of your life. you'd be still tennis coaching, living at Greg's. Oh, it'd be so hard. But yeah, that wouldn't be a bad life. Living at Greg's, tennis coaching. I reckon we'd be, I honestly reckon we'd, we potentially could be junkies. Yeah, true. We probably would have died. Because I remember we even spoke about if we don't like towards the end of us making videos for like four years, we'll so much debt living in squalor, him living in a shed. And we said, all right, look, if, if, if we're not making money from this in another few years, let's just try heroin. <laughs> we sort of did have well, We did like say that. that. I remember. Like, and it. I remember making a mental note to make sure I found someone we can get heroin off if the day ever came. Should we do it now? I reckon we should do it for the podcast. All right. Would you do heroin yeah, I'll call or meth? Just like a really a small grand amount. for heroin or meth? What would you rather do, Matt, if you had to do oh, one? Might be meth. Yeah, yeah, I reckon meth for sure okay. for you. Anyway. <laughs> uh, a lot of people ask questions about the possum, how you got it out of that place. Oh, we, did they? Yeah, oh, really? I didn't yeah. know that that, that was like, a, like it everyone knew about that. It wasn't a highly liked comment, but it was a few people asked, so. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Um, yeah. With a broom. With a broom. Um, next question is from Nico J. C. Um, I saw the Marty and Michael golf story on Instagram. Why is Matt Gregg so <laughs> fucking shit at golf? Please, <laughs> please do a how to with the brown. He, I put yeah, in some Michael. time last time, and he actually got better. He sucks. <laughs> That's true. You can't get good. You'll never be good at golf, but you might hit it straight. If you follow what I say. <laughs> no, I remember I used to be pretty bad at golf. Too. No, you have more technique. Yeah, There's something. Tennis. He spins around like a ballerina. <laughs> it's like he, he, his legs can't stay planted. Or maybe he just likes dancing. Yeah, true. But Michael, you can't like, mix the both. I got golf. a glimpse into what it was like to be coached by Michael. And he's so like thoughtful and giving. Mm. And if maybe, well, but in his eyes, did I he could kiss tell. kiss your neck? No, nah, but it in his eyes. He kiss his client's necks. It was like a poker face. So in his eyes, I could tell he fucking hated me. There were I some shots golf. I lashed out with my eyes, but they were shit. <laughs> and like, but yeah. yeah and I, I, hit a, I hit one or two good ones after yeah. your training. The weed made me more empathetic to help you. That's why we smoke it and the stone at all times. Yeah. Okay. It's good times. Uh, next question is from Trent J. Benson. If I send in, uh, if I send this in, would you guys be down for a small bottle of THC oil? Yes. Yes, of course. Let's please send that in and we will show you how committed we are 
to sculling the bottle <laughs> at the beginning of the podcast. Oh no. Dude, that would be so funny. Imagine if we did acid like at the opening line. Oh, did acid. Dude. That would I be so I'd exciting. Be under the couch by the end of it. <laughs> shivering. Oh, and I'd man. have more coats on and I'd be still be cold. <laughs> Next question is from Sam Richardson. Um, Look away, turn away, a virtual gaze. There wasn't, it needed a finishing It needed element. more substance. <laughs> yeah, it just didn't have that little zing at the end. Next question. Sam asks, why does Michael hate Germany so much? Is there some past relatives that fought in the, in the two wars? No, just listen to Marty on the phone to his mum. He doesn't hate you Germans. Have to he hate just it. he just thinks it is ridiculous. The culture and the language itself is hilarious. He thinks it's a joke and that it shouldn't exist. Listen to him talk to his mum, and you will be in the same position as me. <laughs> what it, do you think about that, Brown? Uh, like he I was me, born there. He taught man. me a word the other day. Oh, Gehuktus Fleisch. What the fuck is that? Gehuktus Fleisch. Gehuktus Fleisch. <laughs> it's mince saying meat. it when he was hung over in Sydney and yeah, he got all these replies on Instagram. <laughs> oh, you speak German. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> People thought I was German. No, I was just, just saying, saying mince meat. <laughs> yeah, he's saying <laughs> minced meat and he was eating a sandwich at the time, so it sort of made sense. Oh. But I really oh, just was making fun of the word because that's fucked. That was ridiculous. Now you're getting racist. Okay. No. There's a fine line. You're the yeah, it was it's funny. It was funny. And now it's. Okay. Sorry. That's yeah. borderline, mate. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, dude. That's my friend. You need to bottle that hate. Okay. Next question is from David Hasselhoff. Bez. <laughs> <laughs> he's famous in Germany. Yeah. Did you know that? Beisner. Yeah. He's sings there. Um, do. Do. Oh no, I saw it once. <laughs> I don't know the I don't know the song with thank you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> What's do mean in German? You wow. you Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go YouTube it, it's very good. Um next question from David. Um how long do each of you think you'd be able to survive in the woods alone? <laughs> Oh, like two days. I reckon Michael might indefinitely. Yeah, I reckon Michael could go a while. But his body would just adapt to its environment. I'd eat bark. His, his fingernails and fingers would grow long and strong and stiff and he'd be able to scuttle up trees and shit. I think I could see Michael, yeah, living indefinitely out there and starting some sort of hybrid family with a moose. That's funny you mentioned that because that leads right into the next question. question. Joey Evans has asked, if you had to reproduce with an animal to create a crossbreed baby, what animal would you choose? Mm, that is a great question. I reckon an echidna. God, I can't believe that came just after you said that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not bad, man. Yeah, that'd, that'd be good for I you. I can see that, yeah, being, Protect good, you. being good to have in the family. Yeah, like... I'd probably go maybe like a... <sighs> A cow, probably, dude. Yeah, cows just for fun, though. I don't know if I want to breed with them. It'd be so annoying. And I'd, then maybe I'd be attracted to my own child if it's half cow. Yeah, okay, true. You can't risk it, man. Yeah, okay, yeah. You don't want to raise a cow. You don't even want to risk it, man. Yeah. I'd probably fuck like a bear. bear. A human bear. A bear would be good. Sex would be shit. Well, you'd have a big kid. At the end. Yeah. And they'd be dangerous. Big and strong. That's how Bigfoot was made. We just... We just fiddled out the riddle. A pelican could be funny. <laughs> a human Ooh. pelican. Because oh. if it can fly, right, then you don't have to play for, pay for airfares ever again, cunt. <laughs> what, about, what about a brolga? A graceful yeah, brolga? Yeah, yeah, a brolga. Yeah, yeah, same thing. It's the same bird. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, next question from Dean Moore. Michael, if you were uh, going to be a boxer, what would your music walk uh, walkout music be? I reckon it'd be like Why Not by Hilary Duff. <laughs> what about Wrecking Ball from <laughs> Miley Cyrus? Hilary Duff I came is in way like better. And then as, the, as, rah, as that bit starts, the light, the spotlight jumps on you and you pull this cape off. <laughs> came in like a rag. <laughs> Reveal your gloves. <laughs> yeah, no, I'd prefer Hilary Duff. <sighs> Next question from James Kirkpatrick from Scotland. Um, boys, uh, from the website, uh, what's worse, running... You know how you ran through rubber 
uh, oh, yeah. tape the other day. Shit. Um, what's worse, running through foil, rubber bands, or cling film or cling wrap? The foil was the worst. The most abrupt. Yeah, it was like a wall. It just completely coat hanging me. We did another <laughs> one of those the other day uh, with... Um, Drywall? Uh, no, not drywall. Tape. It's um, it's a, it's, wall. it's like a oh, wall, um, a plaster wall. Yeah, drywall. Yeah, and yeah, plasterboard. It's a big deal. Things happened. You'll have to uh, excuse me. Just one second. <laughs> that oh, one man. was so good. I nearly blacked out there, man. <laughs> it went on such I have a to journey. Go in such deep states of. <laughs> don't even look at each other. I saw you trying to look at Amber halfway through, Mon. Very off putting. <laughs> I need to be alone in my own space when I'm performing that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Holy shit, that was very lovely. Thank you uh, very, very, very. Uh, on with the questions. Uh, next question is from <laughs> Muscle Hamster. Um, can you boys please explain what's going on with the merch? Oh yeah, oh look, look. All there right. is half of our merch is still at the center that we ordered it from <laughs> and we cannot be fucked oh, going to pick merch. it up. Yeah, I don't even know if we count that as our merch. Look, there's a lot to, dis to talk about with the merch, right? We've tried a couple of times we tried it re like the end of last year it fucking failed again with all these random little issues so we just said fucking let's just pull a pin and next time we do it we're going to do it fucking proper right so mm. um there is something coming and there we're gonna we're gonna be making our own brand of products weed products probably but anyway and there'll be shirts and shit there too matt brown matt brown a piss test we should sell piss tests. Yeah, yeah I'd piss buy that. tests are a good idea. I'd buy that. Yeah. Then beat, we'll know. Beat the drug can, test. Yeah, exactly. Write that down. Write that down. And pregnancy tests? Yeah. We'll That's sell them. Come see a handy. And blood tests. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah, we can do medicine. Uh, Three questions to go. Tests. They're easy. All right. Yeah, merch is coming, all right? Just, I don't want to say when because I, I don't want to disappoint year, anyone. I there'll be a good setup. Next question is from some, VY. Some um, is coming. If Mr. Brown finds a nice lady during the season, does that mean it's the end of the Bachelor Brown segment? No, three yes. people have to live with you for a month. Look, it's it, it, look we would consider it, but it's not going to happen. Matt, I, we know Matt Brown. Matt Brown. I don't think they've been right about much, but they are probably right about that. Matt, but look at this. See, look at this. He's he's. A, you can't even think like that. All right. Next we're, question. That's exactly why we're doing what we're doing to help you help. Next question from Joseph Morton, and it's a very good question. I'm glad he asked it. Hey Matt, what's your favorite type of concrete? <laughs> <laughs> and I will tell you, a polished expose is my favorite type. Oh yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> I can picture it. What else is there? There's what's the concrete called on the footpath? Uh, what? Just silver standard, standard grey concrete. <laughs> yeah. yeah, is that its name? Oh yeah, or it would be like a twenty twenty eighty. <laughs> now he's saying numbers. Yeah, holy shit. Yeah. Yeah, it's very concrete. Is that what you say? When but that depends. It could be twenty five twenty eighty if they want to put something heavy on it. Don't fucking. Yeah. Say or if that. we're talking Fuck. about trucks, you're boys, we might be getting up to thirty two forty. You know what I mean? Oh, oh no, there's a sparkle in his eye. Do you when know? It comes to do you oh, know, have you been to Bunnings? Do you know the mix? Oh, let's talk about Bunnings. Bunnings, you've been you've been shoeless at Bunnings, right? It's probably today. It, feel, it feels good, right? Not really. They do these cool burnished floor mixes. So good. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> Fucking hell. What yeah. do you know? What goes into making I concrete? Just go. Three no, ingredients. No, we don't have enough time. Sand, concrete, we don't have water, enough time, mate. isn't it? We don't have enough time. All right, but you're getting close. Sorry. All right, final question from Agent Sloth. And um, he's not from Australia and he's wondering, what would you rather? Would you rather steal an emu's mother's egg or would you rather challenge an alpha male kangaroo to a fight? That's, oh. Uh, yeah, it's no, still emus egg. can devour you. So I'd probably go the, the kangaroo. Yeah, but that's only if it catches you. Emus are fucking that's only violent, catches man. You. It's only if it catches you. No, because they're going to, of course it's going to catch you. It's faster than you. What if you have you a gun? 
No, shoot the fucking thing and take the egg. No, but it'd feel you'd feel bad. I reckon I could. Be I don't know. Have you look man, it up? They are but fucking massive. Man. The Australian right. Army lost a battle to a, a bunch of emus once. Yeah, so yeah, I'd go to the kangaroo. All right, well, that's a true fucking look, story. The look kangaroo can't reach you, dude. It's, it's it uses like its this. back legs and and it's got claws on it too, and it'll strip you to pieces. Oh, you okay, yeah, that changes. They, dude, they lean back on their tail and go and kick out and yeah. fucking. Yeah, I don't okay. know. The and kangaroo's so scary. Muscly. Yeah, maybe I'd, I an alpha I'd, kangaroo. I reckon, I reckon I'd sneak up on an emu. You grab its neck and then you're in control. Although, yeah, but okay, no, I don't but, know. Uh, Dude, the Australian army Please, lost a it's war. It's hard to hit Please. an emu. <laughs> the Australian army lost a war to emus. Yeah, well, All great right, emu fuck war. It. We'll do the kangaroos then. Let's test it. Let's go out and film this next week. Oh, okay. you guys. <laughs> no weapons allowed. You'll get fucked up. Mono e mono. Marty and Michael versus emu. And then Marty and Michael versus kangaroo. <laughs> we'll see which is the better one to choose. Uh, Who's harder to fight? All right, and that's questions. All right, moving right along to the PO unboxing segment. This is where we open oh, yes, all of treats. the fucked shit that you guys sent. Last week, someone sent us horse smegma. Here That's it is. That's horse dick cheese. That's horse dick cheese there in that container that Michael is showing you. I okay, should put it on so the floor. That just goes to show how unpredictable, oh. right, this PO box segment is. And Michael, that smells fucked. Okay. That is so bad. What oh. is this? Oh, my God. Smell my thongs. All right, so I've just been handed a package from Matt. It says, smell my thongs on the front. Number of days worn, two. Ugh. All right. I might, oh, geez, I might save this one. This is a website, maybe, that they're trying to promote. I sure do hope so. It's just a prank, bro. Oh, I see what's happened. He lied to us. There's something in here, though. There's something in here. Oh, a little lolly. I love that. Um, where's the lollies gone from last week? Uh, I, they're in the hat over <laughs> there somewhere. Okay. Do you reckon this is safe to eat from that guy? Whoa. Well done. Whoa. Whoa. Did that happen? No, I would never eat that. Yeah, that that, that doesn't even look Looks like a, like a mental. shit lolly. As if you'd eat a high chew. So someone just pranked us. We thought we were getting unused, but we weren't. Oh. Oh. Michael's just opened a box. Michael, explain what you're saying. That smelt funny. Okay, I got a... Oh, no. This is my worst nightmare. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. Okay, this milk is for Michael. <laughs> if you know what I mean, we will we will let you guess what type. <laughs> <laughs> explain. That is, I reckon, breast milk. Oh. Oh, that is oh, fucked. It smells sour. Oh. It smells sour. <laughs> There's a baby bottle in my. Oh, oh my god. Oh, what the oh fuck is god. that? I can't even de describe what I'm seeing. What the fuck is that? Oh no, this is a used fucking tampon. It looks horrible. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Michael, don't fuck it over. We have to sniff the blood. We have to sniff Dude, the blood. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> don't open the. Oh my god, someone has sent us a fucking used tampon in a jar. Oh. I feel like it hurts the eyes. Oh! Michael has just torn the plastic off the top of it. What's now it smell it. like? Dude, please. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a joke! I blew this is not a joke! <laughs> Put that away! No, 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 whoa! <laughs> Damn, no, no, okay, no. okay, we won't, we won't, we won't. It's safe. Oh god! <laughs> now I have the power. Oh. You may look from a distance. Oh, it's really Matt Brown. Will you Why smell is it, it so big? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what happens when they? Sh oh, it's fucking oh, massive! Oh, it's, it's freaking me out too. The thought of it. Oh man, it's like oh, oh there's like it's all clump. <laughs> all right, and there's a also look. milk. There's a baby bottle full of some strange-looking milk. Uh, that if Michael's he can't handle the smell. smell, I don't think I could either. We give it to Matt. Oh maybe. no. There's electrical equipment. Keep oh, it. No! It's on his fingers. It's on his fingers. Oh, it went on oh, me. Oh, it's on his fingers. The milk is on his fingers. Smell it. See what it is. I can't. Oh, dude. It tastes like actually. Oh. It actually does look like breast milk, is it? it? it no, it smells like vanilla malt. 
Oh, but okay. like that is so the thought of it and it's all over my seat now oh well the oh. same person that sent a used tampon sent us a baby bottle full of a strange liquid and now you have it <laughs> splashed on your legs oh I feel like <laughs> oh. mm. this milk is for oh Michael, my god dude if you know what I mean we will oh, let you I saw guess some of what it type flick off. all right we, look guess what type it is person who sent us this thank you can you tell us what type of milk that is and if that tampon was real, please? Oh, it's on my fingers. <laughs> Look, it's all. Oh, dude, 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 fuck! Stop! Okay, sorry. Oh, we have to fuck. remain scientific. Okay, sorry. Oh, oh. blood fuck, and milk, man. our worst enemies. <laughs> Who would have thought? Oh, that was fucked, man. Oh. Yeah, anyway, that's the PO oh. unboxing segment. If you want to send us bits of your body and shit from your guts, go to PO Box 256, take them 4018, Queensland, Australia. We'll open it live on the podcast, even if it's a baby. Oh, oh wow. What well, else? I, 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 I can see it. This stain on my pants uh, yeah. is milk. Milch. Say that. Milch. 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 That's milk in general, milch. isn't it? It's beautiful in a way. Milch. Baby milch. 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 What's baby? What's baby milch. in German? Milch. Milch. What's baby in German? Baby. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, it is. Baby milch. You know, English baby comes milch. from Germany. <laughs> English comes from Germany, man. Yeah, I know, but we fixed it up. Maybe. Oh. Be- baby milch. All right. <laughs> Fucking hell! That's that's oh, what a weird time! What yeah, a weird wow! Time what a time was. to be alive! We got sent yeah. our first ever used tampon. No, it's our second actually. Oh, remember we hell. had one a while it's back. Like, oh yuck! Freaks me out. Anyway, moving along. To Can't the wait last, to take the photo with that. The last fucking segment. We have the prank call. All right, and now I'm going to attempt to call the billboard guy again. Connor, if this doesn't, he doesn't answer, we'll leave it in because people keep wondering why we're not calling the billboard guy. So leave this explanation in, please. He hasn't answered the last two weeks and I can't keep calling him because then he'll know that something's sus. Yeah. You know what I mean? And the, the two weeks ago, I accidentally called him from my actual number. So I couldn't call again because then he would have... Should we stop together. saying that because he could go back in time and find it? Yes. From now on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what, um, what should we, are you going to go as Ronda? Go Ronda? Oh, he's going to be so frustrated with Ronda and, early. And Ronda's going to be annoyed because of the way he spoke to her husband. Okay. Yeah. He, uh, yeah, okay, fuck. I reckon he'll give Ronda like a minute of his time if he answers. Yeah, I think it's on private. He's going to be frustrated. He's like, I don't even understand you, I reckon he'll say, and then he'll hang up. That's my prediction. Ronda. Excuse me, sir. You're the billboard guy, eh? Come on down. It's seven o'clock. Fuck! Okay, so he didn't answer again, so on to plan B. <laughs> We're Arnold Fine okay. will be calling this <laughs> mobile phone number left here by a stranger. All right, here we go. Fuck, I hope this answers. So, yeah. Tell that you've been Tell them about your pig business What's a road close to here So that I can um, Um, Say that that's where I live I don't know Roadie road No um, Roadie road Yeah I could say roadie road Say roadie road That's down at Chermside there That's Chermside Uh, Be quiet I try call uh, Fuck me (laughs) Sure shut Shut your mouth eh? Fuck me He swears so much now you know, I'll find the temper. All right, this is me calling a library. I don't know, even know what I'm going to do yet. Do you know what I mean? Is that Dakota? I've even forgot. Good afternoon, library. This is Sarah. Yeah, hey. Um, Look, I've um just like hired a few books from you guys and I've opened yep. I've opened one of the books okay and there is um quite a derogatory um statement in here like someone's okay. just someone's just written it obviously okay. um and yep. and yeah like it's kind of like um it's triggered me and it's actually like super offensive um Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, like, I, I don't know what you guys um, want to do about that, but look, I, it certainly wasn't me. If you and return the book to us, 
and right. which one of the staff members are okay. going to go off and yeah. it will probably Someone get rid of the book. Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look, um, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm not saying it's like your fault or something, but um, like how come that wasn't like picked up or something when someone handed that book back? Like, don't you guys like check um, the insides of them or something? Every page right. Yeah, okay. Like, we'll notice like watermarks okay. on the edges or something. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Well, look, maybe look that I've just sort of highlighted quite a vulnerable part of your system there. Do you sort of see like that yeah. anyone? And yeah. like if I wanted to, right, just picture this. I could hire like 10 to 20 books every single week, okay? And I could write something offensive at the begin yeah. at the beginning of the books every single time, okay. And then the, the next person comes along and hires that book, and then their night is is ruined, okay. There's even swear words yeah. in it. Do, do you know what I mean? Like there's even swearing in some of it. I'm so sorry. This is happening. yeah. I know. It's like well, I just like yeah. It's I, I'm shaking right now. Like yeah. like books are so bad for the environment. Yeah. I'll pass this on to our team leader. Yeah, that um, would be great. Thank you. Bring you. that book back, and right. um, we'll take care of that. Okay, um, great. But, yeah. Is that like? I mean, am, we'll am I going to have to like pay for that or something? Because I'm not doing that. I'm not paying for a book if it's got no. s- smut at the beginning of it. If you bring it up to the staff member. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll Which one? Like, because there's like so it. few staff there. Sometimes I'll go there and I'm literally like walking around for I'm not even joking, like a minute. There should be. There should be normally someone around on the floor. Mm, okay, um, all right. If not, um, just tap on the yellow door. The yellow door. Okay, will... hang on. Let me just um, let me just write that down. Yellow so door. there's normally there's like returns trolleys. Yeah. Kind of okay. Trolley, right. And there's like a swipe card access, and there'll be like a yellow door. Okay. So yeah. Like has a pineapple. Right. So right. Just tap on that if you can't see anyone on the floor. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm there with you. There should be normally someone on the floor. Right. <laughs> but if there isn't, just tap on that. And Great. Will answer. Um, also, just um, just out of curiosity too, like, what's your like CO two emission levels like annual? I would I would just want to know like annual because like. I noticed I that yeah, that there's that. quite a bit of electronics um, going on in the library. Quite a bit of elect- electronics yeah. are on, and yeah, just like obviously that's quite bad for the environment. Probably take that up with the man. Like, feel free to write like a letter to the manager or something. Okay, like yeah, that. I might do that. Yeah, um, that's so old fashioned. I, I love that. Through. That's so old fashioned. I love that. <laughs> Writing we'll letters. Email, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm yeah. Very low on the pedestal. Like. <laughs> Don't know that. I wouldn't I say that. I would don't, I would, you don't need to talk like like you are not low on the pedestal. Like Everyone is equal in my mind. On seriously, you are just as yeah. important to me, okay, as the owner yeah, of the, the library. Part. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, yeah like oh, that's right. Like you yeah. are the same to me. Like you, you me, and everyone. Everyone is equal yeah. in my eyes, okay? So don't don't say that you're low on the pedestal, darling, because you're not, okay? You can be anything that you want to be. Okay. I'm sorry. It's just um, no, that's okay. If you bring that up, if you bring that book up to the staff member, okay, yeah. I'll also say this to my team leader so we kind of know. Look, what was your all, name? I'm so, so I'm so sorry if you said your name at the start. I didn't quite catch it. What was your name again? Sarah. 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 Okay, great. Well, thank you so much for chatting with me, Sarah. Um, Look, I'll, I'm, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna do you guys a favor. Okay, I'm gonna white out on this book. Okay, I'm just gonna, I've got a bit of spare paint left. Okay, I'm just gonna slop a bit of paint on where it says these nasty words. Okay, okay. it's just a little bit like a, just a one like sort of big blob like on the second page, and then that so way. Someone wrote that in. The book. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. someone has has called. written in the book, yeah. and oh my god, okay. so, like it was beyond offensive. Like it okay. really was just like it said. Look, I, I'll I'll mention it briefly. Yeah, I don't okay. Want you to yeah. Well, look, it's yeah. just it has said something like um go, go Donald Trump, yeah. you mother effer, or something like. <laughs> Something okay. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just feel free and to it pop had like a picture as well. I had a little, had a little picture of like a, a, a dick. Okay, like a dick. A, okay. a, a, yeah. a, a, it was either you know, ejaculating or urinating or something. But yeah, yeah very detailed, very detailed dick. Yeah. On, on, underneath the trump. Thing. No, that's okay. Oh my god! Why did that or cover it or something? Okay, yeah, I've got um, a bit of house paint. I'll I've just got house paint. I'll put paint. house paint on the book. Even just stick a pa- piece of paper on it to cover it or something. Uh, uh, yeah, well, yeah. Look, I'm uh, just a little blob of house paint on, on the second page. Okay. Cover it straight up, and I'll I'll bring that straight in. Okay. Okay. 
And then, yeah, I think we should also talk about the CO2 emissions next time I come in. Because, yeah, obviously we're going to have to do something about that. Maybe solar panels for the roof or something. Anyway, I'll chat to um, to you, Sarah, or should I talk to someone uh, else about that? I can, you can chat to my team leader about that Okay, one, great. And no then worries. she can pass that on to her bosses and bosses. Great. All right. Well, look, look at this, Sarah. Look at. I'll, I'll come in. Um, I'll, I'll give the book back. Uh, just uh, expect to be house paint on page two of one of the books, and then look, we'll get this. We'll start the CO two discussion, and we'll move on from there. Okay. How's that sound? And remember, I don't want to hear any more of this low pedestal stuff. Okay. We're all equal. Okay. Don't forget it. <laughs> Could I grab your name as well? Yeah. Sure. No, no worries at all. So my name is Dakota. D A N D A C K D A C K so weird O T A H Yep D A C K O T A H yeah do you want my last name or if you want yeah I actually to be honest Sarah I'd probably prefer not to but I'm happy to show yeah, my ID when I come in that's totally fine it's just you no, know no, I don't okay. like to say stuff it's just not good for the environment No that's fine Okay um bring it in and we'll yeah Okay, great. That. Okay, no worries. Thank you so much, okay. Sarah. I'm going to go paint the no, book. No, that's okay. No worries. <laughs> See you later. Um, so we close at 8 o'clock. Okay, oh, no we worries. We'll again tomorrow at 10. Okay, that's that's pretty okay. bad for the environment, but okay, no worries. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow, okay. darling. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we should just oh, fucking go sad. into that library and just with a book that's just completely white, Covered in white crusted paint. <laughs> Dude, that's a good way. If you actually oh, we'll hand it in, yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. That's a great idea. But then I have to be Dakota, and then they'll say I'm a grown thirty-seven-year-old man, and they'll see that it's not even one of their books. No, just say that you got your friend to. Um, you just want to know that they got it okay last. Oh, week. No, I can you got say your friend to drop it. I, in. I can just say, oh, hey, I just found this out the front of the library um it had like a note with it too and then handed in as an this innocent bystander yeah, yeah as an innocent bystander <laughs> yeah the bystander yeah okay that's happening we'll get uh, also if you um accidentally graffiti on a book or something or accidentally spill paint on a book you can use that you can use that and just pretend you're offended at something that was written in there and then you're allowed to paint library books now that's pretty cool oh because dakota all along I was trying to make it sound like I had just accidentally spilt paint on my book. So now if you've accidentally spilt paint, you can just say that. Yeah. Fucking hell. That was intense. Like it was hard. It was, she hard. was It's always hard going through a Dakota prank call. So, such yeah. a lovely person. But yeah, she was lovely. She's a bag of shit, Matt Brown. No, Dakota's a bag of shit. The, the librarian was Oh yeah, the tolerant. librarian was a lovely young lady. She was, and how yeah, very dare tolerant. she refer to herself as lower on the pedestal? I will not stand for that. <laughs> yeah. Me, not Dakota either. Yeah. I agree with her. <laughs> very equal. Oh, there we go. Anyway, we got our engagement party this weekend. So next week we should have some fucking stories for There's you gonna guys. It's going to be eh? something. Yeah. I will make a mockery of myself for a story on the podcast. <sighs> We've got some Bachelor Browns coming too. I oh, to yes. Fuck off. You're inviting yeah, anyone. Yeah, no, yeah. We all invited. Isla, that makes sense. We invited heaps of them. Isla is coming. Is that okay, babe? Okay. I forgot That's to tell normal. you. I forgot to tell you. Uh, no, they're not because I caught Mon saying she's not. And I okay. trust Mon's whispers. Anyway, everyone, enjoy your week. Get out there and love thy neighbor. Promise me. Promise me be to be kind, all right? Because the world doesn't need any more mean. Yeah, especially in these times. It's trying, trying times. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, oh it hit his head. It hit his what head. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> on your arm, on your arm. I've just had the tampon thrown. Blood. There's blood on your arm. The tampon has been thrown at me. <laughs> I said to be kind. Oh. I said to be kind. Oh, it's on her hand. I said to be kind. Oh, yeah. We're the best. We're the best. I have to go. Oh. <laughs> oh. It was us. You guys got pranked. It was fake. Is that why you're That's my sister. That's real breast, breast milk. milk, but that's a fake. That's yeah. Naomi's breast milk. Oh, wow. <laughs> Did we good? Wait, wait a second. This podcast is not over. Oh my god. So you guys well, you guys sent that in. Oh my god, you ruined the podcast. 
So our, our partners are the ones who sent that in. I was in on it too. You knew? Yeah. No, no, no. It was James. James. So, that's why I texted you today and said I'm go- it's going to be normal time. It was actually them wanting to get in early. Wow. Holy shit. Got fucking our gals pranked. are natural pranksters. We got pranked by our partners. And that is why we are the best and will continue to be the best. Oh. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Fuck me. What is that? Bye-bye. Tomato sauce. No, it's, it's no, it's real blood. <laughs> <laughs> it's mine. <laughs>